Perfect. Okay. Let's get this llama business done. I used to really, really like llamas. A lot more than I do now. They're still quite cool. Uh, let's do... Yeah. Fluffy faces. Oh, I need this. Fluffy, stonky necks. Ooh. Okay. Hey, hey. Do you have any favorite colors? Some weird face. <laughs> All right, we'll see. Let's give. Worst part about starting with the ears. All oh, right, it's so kind of like a horse's face, but it's squishy. Hmm. 
faces are really short and cute. A fluffy neck. Kind of like a nice that way mouth. Straight. Oh, sometimes uh, livestock animals are a little bit difficult because they're so they're very fluffy. <laughs> But also hairy. And her legs, she kind of like, they kind of have a weird way of standing. With their butt in the air. But it has to be fluffier. I like uh, llamas for a bit of a different reason too because when you have them on a farm they are big protective boys and they will protect all your sheeps oh. watch that no wrong way they will um, protect an entire herd of cattle sorry cattle um, sheep from wol wolves, from foxes, stuff like that. This leg is a bit chunky.
I'm not sure if they do wolves, <laughs> but I do know that they do big boy stuff for the other ones. What's those stonky legs? Why are they so thick? Because of this. This come in. Yeah, no, that's crazy. The, the, um, bouncer animal. They're a big bouncer boys. some ice.
Yo. It's a bit hard to draw on the butt. Fluffy creatures. Hi, Night. It's going great. How are you guys? little llama so what's the difference between a llama and an alpaca I'm not sure. <laughs> I always mix them up completely. Um, I think it has something to do with them ears. Lama uh, and alpaca different. Size, hair, face shape. S alpacas have small faces and llamas have long faces and bandana ears. Oh. Oh, I see. So they are longer. Yeah. Alpaca seem to be the fluffier boys. They are like the um, squished version of a llama. Squashed llama. <laughs> I wish I was setting up a joke. I did consider saying, um, I'm not drawing an alpaca.
Yeah. bit stiff for a leg. Gotta fix his feet. Legs okay. The front leg needs its hoof to be fixed. This needs to be back a tiny bit. No, don't curve. Yes. Feeties. Okay. He has banana ears though. I did like the banana ears. Okay. Uh Ooh. Uh, transform, free transform. Let's see. Yes, there we are. It gave him longer legs. Simple. Okay. It's nothing. Give him color. that and yep a long boy let's see make him very light and we'll yeah okay it's gonna be a bit too light
just make sure I have everything colored in. And then I can change all colors. Colors never matter in digital art until the very end. As long as you have everything layered, you can always change it. And while this takes longer typically than like using a bucket, it's easier because no mistakes. And then I won't have to redo it. I was watching a video on how to animate using this program, and it intimidated me very much so. Because you can apparently just create entire animations using Clip Studio. It won't be the same color. I promise you it's not gonna be black. And if I do do a darkening, I won't use complete black because it's very, it's very striking using completely black in um, paintings. Paintings? Sorry, art. Paintings is worse. <laughs> It'll, it'll definitely take time, like the fishing on Stardew. I typically find that the things I don't know how to do, I focus on so much that they end up being the things I love to do. The hardest things are always the things I want to do first. No! Wrong thing. Yeah. See how it works. Continue. Try it. I've made a few little mini animations, but yeah, I need to sit down and like figure out something big. You know, make more models, uh, a bunch of different things. Maybe I'll make a cat animation so that I can set that on here and use that as a thing to learn. Okay, do just this.
do a bigger brush. Perfect. Now there won't be any gaps and I can give it to you as a transparent so you can put it on any single background. Now this is Clip Studio Paint. Uh, it's the EX edition. So the, the black here is just me blocking out the color so that when I do it, I'm not going to have any gaps. The line art is still here, so I've just created like a uh, shadow kind of thing. And then what happened here is if you watch this, I'll put the line art back on, I can create a new layer, click this here which clips it and bring out something nicer for the body, say, uh, maybe a lighter cream. If I do a bucket tool now, it'll automatically do the whole thing. And then I can create another clipping, do it again so that I can do shadows, tones, use multiplies, but there will be no white gaps even though it's like very hard to see just because of how light this is because it could be very very tiny gaps so now I can do like shadows and stuff like that yeah I, I like to do it just because um, when I'm making emotes sometimes I'll do something light and it'll turn out that there's a gap in the drawing This is why colors don't really matter because you can always use those adjustment layers. And if I really want to, after, since this is a multiply, if I adjust the hue and tone of the colors, they will always be a shadow. This is like the cell shading part of it where you have the larger shadows that come out. However, I also do gradients so that I can add a tiny bit more texture and I'll add on like um, parts after and take advantage of the opacity.
So with certain shadows, it's kind of just intrinsic. Like uh, if there is a corner, typically there'll be a shadow there. If um, if you want to create like fluffiness, you will use rounder shadows. So see how there's this really sharp one, it makes that fur piece look sharp. But if you wanted to, um, you kind of just go with it until it looks right. So like corners, you take advantage of them first, like a puzzle. Just because you know that that's where the harsher shadows are always going to be because it's a corner, that's the angle. Um, where there's parts that are in complete darkness, typically they'll have a backlight, which is like a they'll have they'll have like a really nice rim light on the edge. It'll be so. For instance, here. Sorry, this is hard to explain. Uh, so you would do like a screen effect here because while it's behind the butt, there might be shadows coming from other light sources. So that's why you have certain images that come like that. Uh, typically though, the opacity should be a bit lower so it doesn't look too harsh. But then from afar, of course, it needs to be adjusted a bit more. From afar, it looks more natural with that, like a 3D object, rather than just like a um, flat piece in shadow. And if you take advantage of the multiply layers and gradients, you can kind of force those shadows too once you have this cell shading. Because say there is um, some variation on the fur, there's variation on the fur from uh, like the underbelly might be darker or lighter. So you will do like a gradient effect between the shadow and the skin. And say, um, I haven't used this one, so foreground to transparent. So you would use foreground to transparent so that it's blending outwards, no color. And you do something like um, this, whoops. Change it to multiply once more. Let's say, okay, that's where the sun hits. So this is where his fur, well, one second. This is where his fur would be darker because the sun would be tanning it quite um, regularly. So then you would grab this, erase the head part, and blend it out so that it's less um, noticeable what you've done here. You can use blurs, uh, 2000 is going to be too big, to just blend it. But even just a small variation, like very tiny, is enough to give more dimension to it. So then when you do the lighting, that's the wrong layer, when you do the lighting part, you do that, and yeah. Maybe, it's like everything with practice, it's just um, kind of about doing it, making the error, correcting what you don't like, and keeping what you do like. And like taking advantage of blends, layers. Um, I like the idea of doing uh, paintings on one layer, but you can't get as many effects out of just one layer. But if you think of it like painting where um, Basically, you can always paint over it, repaint it. Don't be afraid to make mistakes like that. Then it should be it should be great. Because now I can do gradient here, and say I want it right there on this leg. And multiply, and now I need to. Not do that. Cool. Now it looks very striking, but blurring it out more, it gives a tiny bit more dimension, even though it's not completely accurate. Because 
like drawing is about a bit more expressionism than just accuracy unless you're doing life drawing so even if your shadows are not completely uh they're not completely accurate to real life but they look good in making your character stand out uh giving a good silhouette or just uh aiding the design with the colors then it should be considered uh good work at least in my opinion with that Oop. nothing's perfect but so long as it's what you like then it, it it's good oh, that's a line <laughs> And for instance, with Procreate, um, when I use that on my iPad, I use a Gaussian Blur instead of Erasing, and that typically does the job in fixing up the shadows that I don't want to remain. And again, you just kind of get rid of what you don't like. Blend it until it works, or edit it. And so like, I'll merge these... I have to... I can't merge them down, actually. Can I? Yes, I can. Cool. So then you see it's not much, but it does give some kind of depth. I'd say that the, um, if you've heard about the, the ball lighting effect, that kind of helps. All right, and screen clipping layer. So now I'm going to change the color and do markings. So let's make his mouth. Because that was more precise, I can release this, create a new one, and say so you want to do this marking, but now you only want to paint on the marking. Unclip it, and then you create a new clipping on top of that. So even though it will come outside the lines, when you merge the layer down, create a clipping once more for the skin, it'll always be within that original like black line that I created. Now I can do this.
and just using circle motion creates that like f fluffy effect too for a simplified character. Once again, you can just erase what you don't like. now and then do this and sorry I already had the layer there so now with this clipping layer since it's clipping I can just shift it to multiply ah! shift it to multiply oh I see and change it to a lighter color because it blends too much with the skin the original Just take it. Because that doesn't look as great with the color, I just need to edit the hue by using a tonal correction. So typically, luminosity can do it. Anything but you, Adam Lonely and Leozia. Not too sure. Where is it? where the fluffier you can get more bumps and there would be some here too because that's where his nose is so then you just kind of create the shadow this one I'll have to blend out way more because it's way too dark way too much can do that by just like spot correcting it and doing this and um, now I believe I can if this works just only change this luminosity okay don't Okay, that's that, and I'll do the screen effect for this one now. Do that really quickly on the side of the face. Under the lip. Chin. And Yep, that's enough for him. Lower it, and then merge them all into this normal. Clip it. Okay. 
I will change the hooves. Just like I added the marking to the face. Now I erase this thing because it's a mistake. There. Now his ears should be a different color too, so I'll do the same thing. I'll make the ears a tiny bit lighter, but I don't want to be that lighter. No. Yeah, but because it's a smaller, it should be easy enough because they're a simple shape. Like, um, if you saw how I drew my friend's elf, I typically focus on the complex shapes first, like the ears, um, the hair, uh, skin on the face, and then after that, simple shapes like clothing are easy enough. I think I'll do a tiny bit of a this on there. Do llamas have eyebrows? No. Hmm. Then bring this under here since I still want to use that. Lasso oh, the original shadows because they aren't the right color. Eternal correction. Desaturation. Luminosity, typically. Oops, wrong layer. Correction, luminosity. All right, wrong layer again. It's you. This one here needs to be blended a tiny bit because of how dark it is. Do you want to edit this part? Unless. not hell yeah okay
and his tail should be the same color. Do the same thing. Multiply is good, so but you can add highlights and hooves. So because the hooves are not really part of all that highlight stuff, you can do them here and what color? Black hooves? But it can't be black, so it has to be a tiny bit lighter than the line art. Now, a tiny bit lighter, about there. Nope, I'll need to make it lighter, it's fine. Add the clipping once more. That's still a bit too dark because um, shadows would be harsh. Bring saturation down to get more of a gray black. Yep. Unclip it. Multiply. Oh, wrong thing. Unclip it. Screen multiplier. Grab the new color. <laughs> Thank you. enough for that so now we can fix the tone again because it's a bit too dark a little bit lighter than there a little bit lighter it has to be a tiny bit darker ah there we are okay and for some extra bits gradient do that. Cool. Now another screen. Do the best here. Cool, and 
and now clip that, merge everything to the normal, clip it, cool. Now his face needs to have a bit more of a brighter screen. Is that his tail? Yes, it is. Okay, we can do that easy. Next. Because I don't want it on the face, I'll do it. under, between the multiply and the face, which could be a bit nicer. Let's fix this. Okay. Shift to a normal so I can grab the color. Multiply once more. here, blend this weird corner. Mm. Now I need another screen. Do the normal thing again to get the right color. He doesn't need those, he just needs that one. And, ah, I see the screen isn't even on here.
No, this one I don't like. So let's do just a corner. And now I can add a few different things, like small parts, to make him look a little cute. Oh, right, okay. So I'll do this Control C V, copy the layer, erase all the ones on here. Turn it off. Go here. Grab the lasso very carefully. Draw. Ah, not careful enough. then delete the outside area, hide it, bring this back, turn this on, and bring the opacity way uh, not that high, not that down, about here, about a little bit higher. Now I'll go to line art, line art, and change it to multiply. No, no more. There I go. A bit more corrected. Now, I forgot. Oh no. Um, okay. Let's see. Uh, it's up eyes. Okay, the eyes. don't need to do a multiply, just grab the light of color. Give him mean eyes. Add a new one, change it to Multiply, bring in some red. 
and you can do the things like these. Of course, then you'll need to erase here. And like that. <laughs> yep. Okay. What do you think? A little alpaca. But he is transparent. And so that means he can go anywhere. So, let me save him. Lava. Oh. Open this. Smoother. Hmm. What do you mean? Okay. Point. All oh, right. That's what you mean. Yeah, that's easy. Um, because everything's clipped onto here. I just have to erase the point. Come up here. Get this, I think. Nope. This. Grab you. No pen. Uh, let's use a G pen for this part. Easy. Yes. Okay. And now. Let's do this. <laughs> Save him as the original, and I will send you the the PNG too. And you can add any backgrounds or effects or whatever, and use it for whatever you want. So he's really basic because, well, not he's really versatile because you can use him for everything. And um, say you want to get hearts and stuff, if you put heart effects on him, and do this right so you get the single layer it'll be one png if you put color effects on him or say for sparkles decorations so hearts if you change the type of hearts and like the type of things you put on him you can add effects too
And now I can hold him like the duck. I'm glad he has a longer face because he really is a llama. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's sweet. I'm not sure what I should do now, or if I should end stream and uh, do some cleaning. But the alpaca, he is complete. Oh wait, actually. Okay, I'll do a sketch. A quick, quick sketch. Uh, mechanical pencil? Yes. A cleaning stream. Well. Let's do uh, a quick sketch. Ears go this way. Hair comes down here. A bit lower on the skull. ear is a bit too forward and then you would uh, T move and adjust everything and take advantage of all the tools you have grows longer hopefully it's definitely heavily inspired by Sailor Moon Sailor Moon and Yu-Gi-Oh have too much, too much weight, weight on my heart. Yu-Gi-Oh and Sailor Moon, those are the ones I grew up watching at 7 a.m.
I never know what clothes to put on them. Let's see. Uh, I've still got this alpaca here. Oh, hey, Guardian. How are you doing? Let's put that. Uh, this is going to be out to side more, I think. Hey, Ra. I'm doing great. Do you like my new model? I made her recently. Oh, let's try hands. <laughs> These things. Okay. P.O. Victory hands. <laughs> yeah. You know what? Maybe I'll do this. Do this hand pose. How do you do it? You put your tips of the fingers together. So it means like this. And the thumb would not be visible. Hmm. Okay. Heart goes that way. Work backwards if in doubt. I wouldn't see any of that, so I'd see this palm. Probably a tiny bit of that form. Actually, I wouldn't see any of that form. I would see being kind of like this a lumpy sketch of it and definitely not that small I think the size is probably right it's just not accurate enough I haven't actually finished it, surprisingly. I mean, I will give you all a link to see what I'm like. And this, this is, <laughs> don't judge me. This link is coming right here. <laughs>
Perhaps I would see it like that. Oh, wow. Perhaps that one is the right way. Let's do this. Let's look at copy. Ah, oh, wow. Yeah, that, uh, that'll do it to him. Okay. So... Grab that. And make this. So, this is gonna be the thumbs. It's gonna be very hard to draw. But if I... I can do the exact same pose, that would be easy. So broken. Broken thumb. They are. And I always feel guilty about like, um, taking a while on them, but I feel like I probably need to. Because <laughs> at least, at least she'll have hands even if it takes a while it's better for her to have them than not I just need to stream three more days let's be lazy and do this But not too lazy, because it won't look right. So you got to do a skew. Very, very soon. Might try making emotes for it before, so that way you can have spams. Yeah, 
just need to make this more accurate by bending that. This is usually easier. All right, let's just place him here. T, transform it once more. Oh, mesh transformation. Mm, I can't do that. Yeah. Do this. And we'll just kind of twist our hand, because you know, you can always just hide where it's not supposed to be seen. Um, I don't really need her finger to bend like that. So I'll just do this. I think that might be a bit weird, but I'll do this and just double check. Yeah. Oh! Oh! Hmm, definitely like the old mirrored version better. Gotta fix this up. Do this once more. No. Yes.
Let's see. Um, what does my... Okay. I won't be able to finish this drawing, this stream, I think, but she will be an ongoing one. And this arm needs to come out more here. Yeah. Should she have? She should. Hmm. It's definitely gonna be Sailor Moon reference. I'm not sure if I should put her in a Sailor Scout uniform. <laughs> or even a Sailor Fuku at all. Definitely short sleeve for the season. And. Ah. No, she needs something flowy or to be nude because this body type wouldn't be comfortable in that. Gotta trust in the process of the sketch, and I do not like this. So I have to fix that later. And she can have eyebrows. What else can she have? She has a heart, eyebrows, <laughs> and she needs clothes. 
let's try this. Try doing a blood count. Poor girl, no clothes. She needs the clothes. Cause she's not doing a, she, she's being indecent in public. I need to give her, I mean, I could just, oh. I could just do. No, because that doesn't make any sense. It's because this arm doesn't make... I see. There. Need to change her. <laughs> I might have to do it. She might just need to wear the sweater. Sounds like it. Let's look at the pattern of the sweater. Mm. be a turtleneck with a slight variation. Okay, so turtleneck her up. here and on the sides it has the weird like flat pattern so uh, let's just draw a little hearts they aren't hearts they're what are they 
I don't understand this pattern. They're like... Oh, you're right. <laughs> I see it. Okay, let me look at this pattern. Oh! Curves, so... Two in, two out. Two in, two out. In, in. Okay, her arms are right now, and now I need to fix up her head, her ear head thing. Uh, where did I circle it? There, okay. No ear here. This ear isn't making much sense. Except it's supposed to... So, ear would come out a little bit. But not too much. It would definitely be more of like a this shape. That way. Ugh. Oh, right. Okay. But it would be more square on the way it hits the head. Because it comes out like this. And this one, you'd definitely be able to see more ear from that position. <laughs> okay, let me look at my hair. Her hair is, uh, the balls are directly above. Oh no. That's cool. Okay, so directly above short bangs, but I will change that eventually. I'm been practicing with uh, V-Roy's hair and I'm getting a little better at it. I'll actually show you guys something I made uh, my first hair att like attempt. So I'll give her the mid bangs because I do want those. I want it to come out and come in. Means her hair, the back would probably be like this. And now add those top bits. Which may be removed, or I might keep them. But she will definitely sort of have the same hair as Kaching, unfortunately. And Sailor Moon. Look at that. Yeah, it can come through the body. Uh, 
and this one will definitely have to flow out. Okay, I like the face, and uh, I do want to erase certain parts so I can see better. Okay, and do I even need to keep the original hair? Yes and no, but I can't erase parts. Yikes. Okay, keep that like that. Okay. Combine all of these. Alright, let me just quickly pull up V-Roy and show you guys what I created. Okay, let's change this quickly. Ah! No! Cool. Alright, so... Change my screen quickly to Vroid. Where is she? There she is. Okay, so here we have the first hair I've made. I had to try and do it with flats first. So we've got this. Yeah, her skin is blue, but that is for a friend. Um, I was making her character, her D&D &D character, her elf. Um, but mainly, I just didn't know how to do hair, and I thought, uh, I'll give it a shot. I was dreading the boning, but the boning is really easy compared to, um, what I thought it was. So, I'll show you this, because I'm really proud of it. 
Um, I did have an issue on the ponytail, but I fixed that, so now it does work correctly. And... Woo! Her hair works. It looks... I, I love how it looks in motion. Because, um, the way, the way her ponytail flows differently to the way her bangs move. Like it, for me, it looks like it has some weight. I thought it was going to be terrible, like, um, the way they, they said it, it looks kind of intimidating, it does look like, like it would take a lot of effort, but I think just doing it, messing with it until it works, surprisingly, it, it, it's, it's good. Yeah, I did. My character is, uh, her hair was created with presets, so I got, bought the ears off Boof and used a free preset for the hair, combined those two using the JSON files, and then voila. But since I know how to do hair, she will have some different hair eventually. Most likely, though, I'm going to have kind of an Easter egg in my streams where her hair kind of just grows a little bit longer over time. And eventually, she'll have really long hair. Uh, let's see. I can open another Vioroid, I think, and show you her new outfit that I, I managed to get my hands on. Let me just fix this up. Go back to art for a second. It's not art. This is art. And goodbye, Vroid. Hello, Vroid. Loan. There she is. This is a uh, new. Uh, it's a little bit pixelated because of the chroma key. I have to edit some things. I think I can do it maybe right now. I'm not too sure. Let me check. Buddy. Uh. can't do it right right this second let me see if I can import a new model but this is her new outfit that she may use in certain streams I think it's on yeah and uh there's animation sweet And I'm thinking about doing this to the hair for a reference of what's going to eventually happen. So these are the weird hair things. Basically, we're gonna have a group come out. Let me just mirror this. Yeah, I did keep the other one, but it's not going to harm too much of anything. Have it come out here. Do this and then so with the brush you'll just bring in new hair and 
and adjust like the um, the weights to it so that I can get nice nice thickness so I think I can grab this freehand group change the thickness or rather I change the thickness now and do it and now I have much bigger hair coming in and I just need to I'll make sure it lines up correctly. Possibly put like two layers at least. And then do the boning and voila. It's going to be a bit different. And with bones, you grab the freehand groups that aren't boned. Sorry, those aren't the ones. Uh grouped here is it there so let's see this one is down here so grab that generate bone group <laughs> this one should be fine for the most part but I would prefer to have one bone each twin tail so that way it can move independently like, for instance, if I tilt my head, it's not going to move both. It could move only the one that's um, adjusted. But for now, it'll give you an idea of what the motion would look like. Once it loads, of course. So these bones aren't completely correct. So there would be some issues here. You can see each color is the grouping. So the issue here would be if the back of the head moves, the ear is going to move. If the ear moves, therefore the back of the head will move. And same goes for the side of the hair. This bang is completely different. So it's not And this section of the hair doesn't have bone groups. However, for now, let's see what this looks like. There you see, that's where the issue is coming from play. You can see the ears are starting to break apart, the back of the head is starting to break apart. But as for the twin tails, if you look at just those, they can be pretty set. I'm not sure. Um, I'm keeping the character's hair white largely because that means I can change it one day maybe have some gradient effects uh but white does seem to look best on stream and with the colors that i like to use on the textures like for instance a purple i did have her hair being purple at one point but it clashed too much with the eyes so i thought hey black white pink those are the theme colors so i can mix and match those <laughs> It definitely does remind me of um, Queen Serenity. But as you can see that weird hair flopping around, yeah, that won't be in there. And I think I'll actually get her hair to be much longer than just this. Eventually I do want it to be at least down to her butt. Not with that issue of the hair coming out, though. Just ignore that. <laughs> That works perfectly, actually. Okay, won't save that, but then you get a taste of what would come out with her. And I do want to get better at the model making and eventually, um, hopefully, look into live 2D stuff. But 3D models are probably 
more adaptable. Definitely going to have more develop on, development on them rather than the 2D stuff. Uh, let's see. She definitely does have a kitchen vibe. Yeah, they are. I'm hoping to, uh, like, get good enough so that I could do some commissions for people. And that way, I know, like, how annoying it can be to make a model. And I genuinely enjoy it, so it could be win-win. For sure. I don't like that. Just like I want to adapt my style a bit more too, and get some less cartoony, not cartoony, but like with the harsh black lines, I want to do stuff more like the uh, M.A. artists that have very light lines, overpainting and whatnot. But for now, just try and add some of the practice for it in each thing I do. I'm definitely learning to mirror my work and like uh not 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 use sketches. I used to think that I would in order to be good, I would have to not use references or sketches and my friends yelled at me for it because they want me to use reference. <laughs> Definitely. I want to, uh, I use them for hands definitely now. Rather than just giving up on hands, I'll like try and find a reference and get it done. Let's see how much of this we can get done.
Yeah. They change and also um, the hands that you get for human references are so different to the stylized hands and it's hard to match um, hands to an anime style face. So it's like trying to find that balance between it being functional, uh, realistic in the sense that it works, but also have the same style and theme as the drawing. That's why I get so impressed by certain artists on Twitter who can just flip out some kind of anime style hands that look petite, but they actually look like they would work. Like the K-On hands, for instance. Yay! Cool ears. I'm happy with those. Let's see. Because I used to be uh, very lazy with the um, flipping canvas and I thought it was some, uh, annoying to kind of remember. I have started teaching myself to draw on the opposite side that the canvas is native to. So that the viewpoint, the viewfinder uh, on the side, the navigator, sorry, will always see the flipped version. And that meaning I can double check it from a distance without having to flip it back and forth, but also seeing it from a distance and seeing that make sense.
good.
finger needs to bend down a bit. A little bit. Same problem as before. Okay, go away. Go away. This. Try once more. I don't have a butt in this channel. I don't know how to do butts yet. <laughs> I'll have to work that out. Oh no. Uh, I can do this and then bend the finger. Okay. No, you gotta be an actual eraser. Okay, I get you. I'll set that up after I finish stream, I think. a bit big for a finger. Oh. No. Okay. I'll definitely add them after. See, um, I tend to learn how to do things exactly when I need them. Not so much before. 
so sometimes I'm here like, ah, I have to go learn it. You are a bit pointy, aren't you? I actually use Twitch Studio. I don't even use OBS. I need to start using OBS, but um, so I'm, I'm used to having like no disk space on my computer and I couldn't even install OBS. Because, <laughs> yeah, so I I need to, need to adjust it and get everything over there, but everything's set on Twitch Studio, so that's why I like some things I don't even have correct alerts for. And I try to look up how to do this with Twitch Studio. And everyone's like, use OBS. <laughs> it's, it's, it's all good now. I recently just set up a four terabyte hard drive. And by recently, I mean like this week. So it's just getting everything in order and I need to remember to get it out. I just had a lot of computer assets, like 3D model stuff. I never deleted any of my drawings. Um, yeah. I used to record everything I drew so that if like, any issues arose, I had like evidence that I drew it. And uh, I never deleted them. At one point, I remember I had a laptop and this laptop stopped working well. And I just kind of ignored it for a little bit and thought, eh, it'll, it'll be alright. There's no reason for it to be doing this, but it'll be alright. Uh, well, it turns out I was running a Minecraft server. Sorry. I was running, like, a server that ran both Minecraft and Valve games. So it was for, like, um, like CSGO, Prop Hunt, all those little mini games. I was, I was running that on my computer. Just constantly. From startup. Every day. And I didn't realize it was there until I looked and saw this 500 gigabyte collection and noticed my task manager going crazy and I was like, ah, solved the mystery, figured it out. Yeah, I got better with the computers. I mean, ironically, I worked in IT, so... I'm, I'm the worst the worst with that because I looked at the computer like, hey, I bought you, you're supposed to do your work, and you're a computer, so compute. <laughs> like, just imagine someone stepping on the computer and it's just me, work.
Forgetting about this alpaca. Oh, oh wow, okay. Yeah. Totally get that. One of my friends is colorblind. He does not like it at all. Surprising how common it really is, color blindness. I like how my characters just constantly, like, got people holding animals. We're just, like, animal patrol here. Eugene the Llama. Oh, that's so cute. Mm, that's right. This shirt doesn't actually go like that. It goes directly into the neck. I'll leave it like that. Um, but now I need to fix up her arm. Because it definitely would not work like that. Okay, so... Alright, I'm gonna do this first. Clean up all these lines. Hair? Hair. Okay. Oh, wow. What even? So the saturation is just completely bonkers for you. Like, um, wow. I mean, it could be lucky. No, it's not lucky. Definitely, uh, unique. Okay, get rid of this. You're not gonna be there. You're gonna come in a bit more. Oh, that's a nice looking line. <laughs> oh god. Yeah, you're not a night creature. So 
So wait, driving, driving is bad? I'm driving at night, right? Oh, night, yikes. Sweater. Okay, now erase you. Get more. I like to abuse these layers. Ah. Yeah. No, definitely. But f as for night creature, I'm referring to like, um, if, if we were to use our, like, sight to hunt and stuff, it wouldn't be a good time. <laughs> I would definitely be the same though. Even if it was hard for me to see, I would definitely be more active at night still. Oh, jeez. <laughs> yeah, we'll be the protect night night patrol. It'll be the alpaca llama buddy. Just kicking ass. I think that's the majority of it lines, right? Yes, it is. Cool, so now I need to do some more erasure. On the sweater. Get that. Oh, whoops. That's completely not what I was supposed to do. Cool. What's that? Yeah, that's her hair. That's fine. I do think she should have a bit more of a neck. Outlines. And erase. Private night. Ooh. Saving private night. Oh no, Eugene's Angels. <laughs> yes. So that's that, and I just need to adjust some minor stuff. Yeah. Allow, no, it's not allowing me. Okay. Down, down, down. There we go. That 
that's right, actually. Cool. Donk, donk. I guess she could be a bit nervous. <laughs> oh. Just this. Huh? So right now I have some more time, however in a few weeks I'm going to have less time. So my schedule is going to be more or less um, Friday, Friday late night, Saturday early morning, Saturday afternoon, and Sunday afternoon, and that's because I'm in Australia so the time zones are a bit different there. Um, Mainly because I'll have some full-time work. I'm not too sure of what the roster is going to be. So during the weekdays, like uh, aside from Friday off the 12, so Saturday morning 12 a.m., I won't know too too soon. I'll, I'll know by like next week, hopefully. I don't... I like to blend them into the face. I don't like to draw the lips mainly because I don't want them to look too puffy and I don't know how to stylize them with the eyes correctly. So I tend to even just give it some color and then blend it out but never do I line the lips like um I never line them like like this. I never do that. But uh, if a character has larger lips, I will give it a smaller, like, like a, a bit on the lower lip, and then give color. Australian, uh, Sydney. Like uh, Australian Eastern Standard. Yeah. Yeah, so like a lot of the time I'm doing, um, I'm not sure about work, but when work comes, the schedule may change again. But largely it seems to be s that I'll stick to 12 a.m. to 4 a.m. Saturday mornings, Australian Eastern Standard, and uh, 1 p.m. till 7 on Saturdays, Australian Eastern Standard, and then sit um, Sunday, 12 p.m. till 6 p.m. Australian Eastern. However, I also do want to do an hour or two on Tuesdays and Wednesdays, but I'm not sure about how viable that will be when work comes into play. Because I will be doing minimum 20 hours per week for work and up to 38 between 5 a.m. and 1 a.m. So any time between that is when they could roster me.
a very different oh hmm yeah today is a bit um today's supposed to be getting into the routine of having a schedule the last week has been more stream whenever I could because I haven't been able to I hadn't been able to in the last year um, I wanted to start last year June July Nah, I see what you mean, yeah. It is a bit random. I might even put up a poll and see what schedules everyone would prefer because I'm terrible with time and if I could work it around you guys, I could work too. So this line art is pretty enclosed. Oh, that's sweet. Yeah, I'm glad that some people enjoy it and like to hang out and chat. And that you guys get along in chat too, because that's really cool. So do this. That and we'll do gray. So that is cool that it does this. The refer to other layers. It's definitely an easier way to fill in everything quickly. Get as much as her of her done as possible before five o'clock for me. Uh, I have to sort things at five, and then from next week I should be able to have longer stream, like uninterrupted. It's uh, 4.41 right now, p.m. Because I want to 
have the line art not overshadow it, I'll do this. Oops. Eh. Alright. Mm. No, that's not what I want. We'll do this and then transfer it. Change this to a multiply. Yeah. Oh, so you're a UK. Possibly? It sounds like, uh, UK. Hey, Trash. <laughs> Oop, that's not what I want. I want to do this. That's not exactly what I want either. Ah, uh, this. Okay, sounds great for that. At this, do this again, grab the skin. That should be fine. Refer to other layer. Yes, I do like that way better. Electrolytes. <laughs> so weird. Or, that's not what it says. It's not saying electrolytes. It's saying electrolytes. Oh. Uh, 
I was definitely thinking of the, the medicine. We'll get this simple color blocking in first. Uh, I'm surprised I was able to get that done today. I will need to change the hair to white. And the ears need to be a different color. Um, black ears. Is my thing stop working? No. Ah. Yes. Okay. Let's see. Um, under the hair. But over first. For the other layer. Yes. Guard this, edit, tunnel, you bring luminosity up all the way. Be right there, and then saturation coming down. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Has anyone here actually watched JoJo's? Because I have the theme song stuck in my head because I re-watched um, part one and two currently. I have to bring this down. Mm. Why? G pen is what I'm using. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah. Yes. See, I've completed JoJo, so I have. I've just started re-watching it all. So, I'm here waiting for part 5, because that's my favorite. Because of Giorno. Giorno is a good boy. And all I'm hearing in my head is... Um, bloody stream I need to get more I can do that actually
Oh, what? Oh, no. And you already had back pain before, didn't you? Oh, no. No, that's way too small. That's not even... This is the G-Pen. Okay. Gotta paint the ears individually. Give her white tufts. Clean up. Oh. No. It's intense. Oh, wait. Four stories. So then your legs would even be hurting too. Just drink some tea. Yep. Yeah. Oh yes, hot water on any sort of muscle for pain. Mm -mm. Hot water, sorry, a hot towel. Nope. I'll definitely make those ears a bit lighter. Grab the G pan again. Oh no. Turn the saturation all the way down. Bring this up a tiny bit, but then I need to make the hair a bit lighter. She does have dark ears. Come here. Luminosity. Just do it up a tiny bit. Bring saturation down. Yes. And then now we need to fix it close. No saturation in this because it is gray. Uh, luminosity down or luminosity up? I think down. And then we need to bring our hair down once more. Yes. 
Oh wow. be completely white to even stand out gosh trash keep getting injured or tired it's like hell for your body when do you let it rest Jeez. That's insane. Okay, there's her ears. And finally, before ending I'm gonna fix up her eyes which are purple purple pink purple pink yeah about there uh, go back here need to change the saturation Blend that up so that the multiply makes more sense. Yeah, that's way better. Oh wow. Yeah. yeah, no, that's really yikes. I don't want that. I just want to be one color. So I probably will just do this. Outside, get this out. Yeah.
Okay, do this, change this to a normal. Wait, what? Oh. Oh. Right here. Change it to a normal and then edit the saturation. The colors. Could be right. Oh wow. Oh god. And then I'll show you like what I want to plan to do with this. I want to do things like overpainting, where when I paint, I actually will extend from outside of the color. So uh, let's do a multiply just quickly. Cause, yeah, no wonder. So that's a nice color. Do that. Change to normal. Delete it. I want to do all of that. Yes, please. Yeah. Okay for that for now that's all good I'm about to end it thank you for uh, joining for the entirety of it have a good night 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 <laughs> just saving her and yeah <laughs> Good night. Again, thank you all for joining in, and good night. Oh, I've, this the uh, the lava keeps scaring me. I keep looking back at me like, oh, I'm holding it. <laughs> okay, well, I'm gonna head off for now, and I'll catch you guys later when I next stream. Thank you. <laughs>